716-2020, Netflix is on board, and it is. And one of the things that we want to talk about is what Netflix did in the quarterly earnings. We hit today, they jacked it up to 5.30 after hours. We hit the low of 4.49. We have bounced to the current level of 4.79. They're on the conference call right now. Stock is down 8.44%, minus $44. And we're going to see what will happen tomorrow with this particular earnings really kicking off of the season. And their sub-growth was weak. And there's lots of things about this report. And the COVID, let me collect money from the government and watch Netflix. Oh, what a wonderful life, right? Give me a break. Listen, Netflix is getting crushed. The earnings season, this is the big one. That really is the key focus. And you can see it got slaughtered. Then it came up off of the bottom. And the conference call will be ending. There'll be a slew of upgrades or downgrades in the morning. And Netflix and the trend in itself is going to change. It's an isolated incident. We'll see if it takes down the Amazon in the morning. And then we'll look at buying those dips on options expiration Friday, tomorrow. And that the tech sector and the NASDAQ composite, they all got crushed again. And this one is getting crushed. Amazon got crushed. They all got crushed. This is part of a correction that I said that was going to happen. And it's still going in that tech-laden sector. And uh, we'll let you know when it's all done. But, hey, we kicked it off with this Netflix deal right here live and after hours. So in the morning, we'll be updating everyone. Once again, Netflix down 43.74. They jacked it. They dropped it. They tried to buy the dip. Again, the little dip buyers with Netflix. The earnings report was not good. That changes the landscape for this thing moving forward. And it does, and there's lots of issues that go into the report that I'm not going to talk about right here, right now. What I am going to talk about is the opportunity and how to trade Netflix off of the negative earnings report. What will that do with the broader market? Markets are in correction mode. This is the proof, and there'll be a lot more to go. And boy, you haven't seen nothing yet. The volatility is just getting started.